let's just say that you've already put together your home office. You got your desk, you built your computer or bought your laptop, got your peripherals, but you save some money here and there to make ends meet. And after some time, you realize that you could have done better with those purchases. If that's you and you may be thinking like what you should upgrade, in no specific order, here are the five things I would consider first. The desk is the foundation of any setup. It's where most of the things you bought for your setup will live. If you have the budget and you're looking to upgrade your desk, you should seriously consider a standing desk with a big enough surface. And I want to make some emphasis here, like having a big enough surface is especially important, if not more than having the ability to sit and stand while you work, in my opinion. I would pay close attention to the depth of the desk, since that really makes a difference in how you space out the stuff that you're going to have on the desk and keeping yourself at a healthy distance from the monitor you're using. For reference, my current desk is 60 inches long and 30 inches deep, and I feel that is the perfect size for my current setup. And the sit-stand frame, it's very self-explanatory. It's just unhealthy to spend your entire day sitting, especially if you work from home. Sit-stand desks can get quite expensive depending on the brand you go with, but you can also find affordable ones. The one I'm currently using is from Flexispot. I'm going to leave links in the description to the latest prices I can find on the specific model I'm using. But if you can only afford either a sit-stand frame or a big surface, or maybe you just don't work from home and you don't spend the majority of your day on your setup, I would opt for the big surface first, as long as whatever frame you're going to be using will allow you to sit in a comfortable position on your desk. Just make sure to take breaks every couple of hours or so so you don't spend your entire day sitting. Staying on the topic of sizes, another upgrade that you should consider is a bigger monitor with ideally a higher resolution as well. Obviously, I'm talking from my personal use case, which is both working from home and mainly single player gaming. For a competitive FPS, you're probably better off using a smaller screen like 24 or 27 inches. But for the rest of us, a bigger screen might be the way to go. This obviously will allow you to have more stuff in your screen, but it'll also probably make text clearer if you're going with a higher resolution one. and also makes gaming far more immersive. Trust me, I went from a 24-inch 1080p monitor to a 34-inch 1440p ultrawide, and the difference was literally massive. Sure, I can get work and gaming done on the 24-inch one, uh, which is my secondary monitor now, but the ultrawide made the experience that much more enjoyable. Just be worried that such a jump in resolution can be taxing on your GPU, so make sure that you have the GPU power to handle that. The next upgrade that I would consider is an ergonomic chair. Yes, you've probably heard this like in at least 10 other videos, but if you're sitting for any length of time on your desk, having a chair that's comfortable enough, it's super important. Good ergonomic chairs can get quite expensive like the Herman Miller ones. Mine isn't any known brand. I sourced it locally from an office furniture store, but this one is very comfortable for me. I really cheaped out massively on my first chair and I regretted that decision fairly quickly. So don't be me, do yourself a favor and get a comfortable chair. You probably saw this one coming. Custom mechanical keyboards. What else can I say that hasn't been said? They look amazing, they sound great, and there's just something super satisfying about typing in these keyboards. That's very hard to describe. Although there are budget mechanical keyboards out there, once you start adding up the cost of switches, keycaps, and maybe additional tools that you might need, um, like loop for the switches or the stabilizers, they can get expensive really quickly. This TKD Cycle 7 I have, for example, sold for 140 before shipping. It was like 200 after shipping, and then I bought keycaps for like $80 and the switches for like 50. We're talking around $330 in total. That's a lot of money, especially for this. Now, this is something very personal. For me, it was worth it. And I cannot tell you which one to get. If this is something that interests you, go for something that you know you might like and that you can afford. And be prepared to fall in the rabbit hole if you end up loving it. Like I said with the monitor, if you game and you get yourself one that's higher resolution, like an ultra wide or a 4K monitor, 
Having a PC that can handle that is a must. So upgrading either your GPU or your CPU, if you already have a desktop, might be a good idea. This isn't necessarily as expensive as building a PC from scratch, but if you game in 4K, you're looking at having a fairly powerful GPU. Besides, just like with keyboards, there's something very satisfying about building your own rig, something you put together yourself to fit your needs. And I personally really enjoy the process of building a PC. Right now I'm considering switching the case of my build because the one I have is mad ugly and doesn't have good airflow. Maybe the Fractal North will look great there. We'll see. And that's it. Five things that are probably worth upgrading in your setup if you haven't already. There's definitely more stuff that I could have added to this list, but I wanted to keep it short and simple. What are some other upgrades that you would do to your space that I did not mention in this video? I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments below. But if you want to learn how I put together this setup in the first place, check out this video right here where I go through my most recent desk setup makeover. 